Welcome to the Universe Inside Our Mind. I'm Dr. David Jubb. We have such an amazing show for you today. We're filming this in the East Village here. Uh, we've, we've got Siobhan behind the lens of the camera and she happens to be a film student. Um, so maybe uh, as you see the quality of the film she does and both of us do together, I'll bet you can uh, appreciate her eye behind the lens of the camera. Um, she has to eat every now and then, I might let you know, because uh, her blood sugar really uh, needs to be kept level. So we're going to be taking a few small breaks uh, and Siobhan, our camera person, can, can t tuck into some tucker. <laughs> um, uh, she's laughing and holding the camera as still as she can. Um, we have such a great show here today. Uh, it's all about reducing your chatter. You know, if you've been observing these shows, we often do shows a little bit about reducing and quietening the chatter down to nothing if you can. Uh, the most self-realized person is someone who's really completely uh, not dreaming at all uh, at night and they're really not having any thoughts. So thoughts can be feelings, you know, because some people they can't sit still are always like, you know, fidgeting and feeling stuff going on in their body. Other, other people uh, as energy and motion have uh, sounds and they're hearing sounds and talk and stuff and other people really make lots of pictures and things you know um, and so this all is a really great form of chatter so we're going to be orientating what we talk about today uh, all in terms of this and how does this affect our health um, and there could be have been in a conflict and so we're going to be describing things in terms that allow you to have a value for seeking more inner calm and doing what we can to be able to uh, imagine that any thought that we have or feeling uh, or s pictures that we have inside. Could we imagine just for a moment that's a little bit like the wind blowing over the rubbish, you know? Uh, some days it's, in some moments that's blowing this way, the next moment it could be blowing that way, you know? Uh, and some of us we're just at the mercy of things being spoken uh, things we could have thought or things we could have had a feeling about and our body could have been just completely at the mercy of this. Let's put things also in terms of our thinking and how could our thinking affect our formation of ourselves? How could our thinking have formed even uh, you and I when we were conceived? How did mum and dad's thinking affect the formation of ourselves? How did the energy and motion uh, of mum's thinking uh, and, your, and dad's thinking, how did your thinking, how does thinking affect the cellular memory that we have inside our body? So that's what our talk is all about today. Stay tuned, we've got a really great show for you. This is Dr. David Jubb. This is the universe inside our mind. <laughs> 